Anyone there? further with this parchment. But from what I have been able to translate, Brother Matthew may have been right in his letter. Dear Bishop Perry, we found this parchment some days ago during the restoration work on the crypt of our old village church. Considering the paper's quality and condition, the document must be several centuries old. There is another reason why I am sending it to you. Strange things have happened since it was found. There have been two break-ins, and one of our brothers has disappeared without a trace. I am not sure whether this really has to do with the parchment, as we have unfortunately been unable to decipher the text so far. But I have a feeling that we are on to something really big and possibly very dangerous. Please. Let me know as soon as you discover anything more about the parchment or its contents. Yours sincerely, Matthew Wakefield. I will keep trying to translate this mysterious parchment for a little while. Hopefully William Patterson will be able to help me tomorrow. Medieval ciphers are his specialty after all. No time, I'm busy. Bishop Perry is not in his office. Please leave a message. Bishop Perry, yeah, this is Superintendent Falk. Ashford CID. I... Bishop, I must speak to you urgently. It concerns the murder of a priest, one Matthew Wakefield. We found his body an hour ago. Witnesses mentioned two men dressed in black combat suits. Wakefield sent us a message a few days before his death, which we... Uh, but that's not important at present. Now that he's dead, this message suddenly takes on a completely new significance. A very disturbing significance. Bishop, I must speak to you urgently. You could be in grave danger. We... The line is dead. Wakefield was murdered. But... but that can't be. His letter... I received this letter from him only recently. Ugh, damned window! Red 3, take care of the target. I'll secure the exits. Confirmed, Red 2. Two men dressed in black combat suits? They're looking for me. I've got to get out of here, and I must get this parchment to safety. I don't really know why, but apparently it was important enough for Wakefield to die for. God help me. Before I leave, I should find a hiding place for the parchment, so that these people won't find it on me if they catch me. Hmm, writings and pictographs of European religions. Reserved books are stored here. According to the list, William Patterson has reserved cryptographic symbolism. 
as has Dr. Lucy Forrester. Perhaps it would be a good idea to pass the parchment on to my friend William Patterson. I can trust him, and he is an expert on such scripts after all. It's entitled Cryptographic Symbolism. The door is locked. I can't leave this way if I'm to avoid the people in the combat suits. Letter from the Vicar, Matthew Wakefield. Dear Bishop Perry, we found this parchment some days ago during the restoration work on the crypt of our old village church. Considering the paper's quality and condition, the document must be several centuries old. There is another reason why I am sending it to you. Strange things have happened since it was found. There have been two break-ins, and one of our brothers has disappeared without a trace. I am not sure whether this really has to do with the parchment, as we have unfortunately been unable to decipher the text so far. But I have a feeling that we are onto something really big and possibly very dangerous. Please, let me know as soon as you discover anything more about the parchment or its contents. Yours sincerely, Matthew Wakefield. The parchment that Wakefield, the vicar, sent me. I haven't been able to translate much yet, just a few mad paragraphs about divine punishment and the approaching end of the world. There's also a mention of a prophet called Zandona, who I've never heard of. Unlike Professor Patterson, I'm not an expert on medieval ciphers. I'm sure he could make something of it. The key to all important rooms in this wing. Good idea. Now, I just have to think of something so that the book doesn't fall into those guys' hands. to get out of here. I really must make sure that William Patterson gets the book before Dr. Forrester tomorrow. Both of them have registered for the book I hid, and there is a real danger that Dr. Forrester will get hold of it before William Patterson does. Dr. Lucy Forrester, Social and Economic History. The door is locked. I used to have a key when this was still William Patterson's office, but I had to return it after the move. Office. Ah, our secretary has locked the door. <laughs> Dutiful as ever. door is open. Personnel files. Our secretary's desk. I can't see anything here that might be of any use. lectures for this week. Perhaps I can use this plan to make sure William Patterson gets the book before Dr. Forrester tomorrow morning. 
Right, now Dr. Forrester will be busy with her earlier lecture. My friend Patterson, on the other hand, won't have any lectures tomorrow morning, so he will hopefully be able to take care of the book he reserved right away. Perfect. Time to get out of here. I'd better go straight to the police. Dad, I know. No, I still don't want to go with you to the UN General Assembly in New York. No, I won't. I just need a few days vacation. No, it's got nothing to do with my splitting up with Max. Sure, I don't even think about him anymore. Who's Max, anyway? Yes, you're right, of course. I still miss him, even if he is a damned idiot. But it just wasn't working anymore. You know, splitting up was the only thing to do. Yes, I'm hoping the crews will take my mind off it, too. Yes, thank you. Listen, I have to go. They won't wait for me. I'll get back to you at the latest when I return. Yes, same to you. Good luck and happy digging, or whatever it is you wish a geologist.